We're with uh, our friend Teddy Fleener Jr. Uh, Teddy had the, I guess, misfortune to be third one up, so his nerves got even more briny than his head and his stomach. Teddy, what happened this morning? Well, uh, I've been studying the past couple, you know, well, since I started school, and my nerves got to me when I went in there to do my in cab inspection and I uh, got everything down all the way down to my uh, start to fanning off. I kept my key. Instead of keeping my key in the on position, I ended up starting the truck and was fanning down my air brakes to my low air pressure warning light and uh, made the mistake there. And that cost me to fail my first time testing. Now the examiner, you said earlier something about he sort of gave you a little opening to say, well, maybe did you forget something? Yeah, he asked me, he said, um, well, after I got done, doing my mistake he asked me are you done and I said yeah I'm done and then that's when he let me know that you know hey this is you can't fail any parts in the air brakes or the in cab inspection and it causes you to fail the test well he pretty much said explain to me where I went wrong and whereabouts you know where I can fix that ed and how I can fix it and he said, don't get discouraged. He goes, keep your head up. People fail this stuff all the time. It's not a first time thing. So keep your head up and just study that packet. Uh, Russell has already passed and is driving right now. When you saw them going, did that relieve your nerves at all or they were still churning? They were still, it, that's how it is. Always with me, when I go into something, I'm doing it, you know, for a first time thing. It's something that's big. You know what I'm talking about? This is a big ordeal here. It's a big commitment and it's a big career to get into. So uh, my nerves really hit me, you know, just like when I took my my permit test for my class A's. My nerves got to me then and I felt it the first time. Came back the next day, took it again, and uh, I think I only missed one question on my combination of air brakes and passed it. Which is a great sign that you passed it the second time. Right. The only difference is this time you don't get to take it the next day. Right. This may be a couple of weeks. How are you gonna, what are you gonna do the next couple of weeks? Um, I'm probably gonna go back to uh, well, probably help out my buddy Josh in some uh, some lawn care, and uh, probably do that for a little while until I get my rescheduled date. Then I'll let him know, you know, hey, that um, I'm gonna be getting ready to go take my test again. So uh, I'm gonna need office day just in case, you know, if I pass or fail or whatnot. He and he's he's a. I mean, I've worked for him. I worked for him before. He's an awesome boss. So he's he's real lenient and reliable on that part of you know, if something if I have to do something, then. You know he allows it. You need two days off. You need because you come here for. I'm gonna come here to practice. practice. I'm gonna come here to get practice. Day. Right. But I'm very very comfortable as far as my range and my road test. As far as me, you know that packet. You know memorizing every component of the truck and whatnot on the four point air brake check and then your in cab inspection. That's the thing that I need to study more. I kind of didn't study it too much dealing with a sick baby and having the baby said during the nighttime hours because my girlfriend works during the nighttime hours so it's kind of hard for me to you know take care of my son and study at the same try to get in enough study time at the within them hours well the next two weeks though Grayson's gonna be feeling better you won't have that immediate pressure of I'm, right. I'm going to class every morning etc cetera, etc cetera. right but you are you're not gonna put the pre-trip away for two weeks you're gonna no I'm so, so, I mean as soon as I leave here I mean it's the first thing I'm gonna do I mean she's off work today so I got all day to study so that's exactly what I'm gonna do have you talked to Crystal and your your family yet yeah I called um, first person I called was my grandpa um, I, t I, was, I was visiting yesterday I took uh, me and Grace went over to visit and um, Everybody's praying for me and whatnot, and tell me that I'll be all right and get it done and, and everything. And I had a bad day, but my, I told my grandpa, he said, just keep your head up, don't get your head down. He said, uh, I'll keep praying for you and hoping that you pass it the next time. I told him that it was all, it's just all nerves. That's what it is. It's all, what it all boils down to. It's not me kind of not knowing. It's me getting tensed up and forgetting things. High school football, which meant a lot to you. Your career, you had moments like this, and you bounce back, right? Right. You got to bounce back from this one, right? Oh, for sure. All right, Teddy. Thank you so much. Thank you.